we are to run the race set before us. His life ministries has been pursuing the call of God, and God has been faithful. God has been good. His life will always be committed to give hope and destiny towards God's eternal promise to people who are broken, lost, rejected, and do not know the real purpose of life. We will always be compelled to win the lost for the Lord Jesus, bringing you and committed believers to a His Life cell group gathering for spiritual growth and family belongingness. We will always pour ourselves to bond new and committed believers to create a community for the Lord Jesus, equipping and empowering men, women, boys and girls to bear much fruit driven by love for God and others for the Father's use and glory affecting the city and throughout the country. We will always be zealous in discipling believers and training leaders, have the passion for God's great commission of going and reaching the world about the good news of deliverance available in the Lord Jesus Christ. We will always be committed to send the best quality leaders to the islands and to the nations. Our dream, a building to house the vision, a structure that is equipped with the most modern technology possible, air-conditioned, glass-walled sanctuary with a seating capacity of a thousand and more, a place of refuge where we can win people, bond believers, train disciples, and send leaders a place that will bring an impact in the community, a heritage that is more precious than money or education, an inheritance that we can give to the next generation, a home where imperfect people are perfectly welcome. As we obey God and the vision, as we grab our dreams and run with faith, as we offer our living sacrifices, God's good, pleasing, and perfect will now unfolds before our very eyes. As we obey God and the vision, as we grab our dreams and run with faith, as we offer our living sacrifices, God's good, pleasing, and perfect will now unfolds before our very eyes. And here are the testimonies of people who have been touched by this vision. Katkat, an active youth leader of this church, shared, Never in my life have I made a pledge with regards to money. To be honest, when I made my pledge last year for a lot for a lot campaign, it was more out of reason than out of revelation. There was no leap of faith on my part. I gave according to what is convenient for me, and there was no element of sacrifice. Giving is hard. It is a challenge I must take and a character I must keep on practicing. Through this campaign, God is challenging me to increase my faith and to keep believing Him that He graciously and generously will provide for my needs. John David, an 11-year-old boy, shared. One night, Dad gathered our family and shared the vision of the church and dream um, of having a building someday. We prayed and my brother and I gave up easily of summer vacation. Giving to God is just an easy thing to do because I know it all comes from Him. Jim shares his testimony. When the vision of having a lot for our church building was launched last year, we had so many doubts. What if we couldn't comply with our pledge? Indeed, God was testing our faith. It was the first time in our lives as Christians that we had pledged that much. We thank the Lord for teaching us how to grow, how to sacrifice, and how to have faith in Him. Therese Yi testifies how the Lord spoke to her about her commitment for this campaign. The Lord impressed in my heart to continue with my previous pledge, but at the same time, He told me to make a one-time cash gift in addition to my current pledge. I was struggling with it as my fiancé and I are getting married soon. But we obeyed God, we made a sacrifice, and the Lord blessed us, and even doubled the amount we gave. Here is another one. Jovi said, 
my life has never been better as I started to join in with this life's vision in buying a lot and to have a church building someday. I earn only enough to provide for my family, but I was challenged to test God and trust Him. I believe that as I give my life to Him, I also have to give my time, talents, and my money to His work and purposes. The greatest influence we can do to create an impact in our community is to love each other. There can be no sacrifice without love. Through the sacrifice that we make, we will never get tired of doing what God has called us. His Life Church made an impact statement about loving God and loving people. Now we are prepared. Now we are ready to love others in the community. As we pour our love and sacrifice for one another, driven by the overflowing love of God, the same love and sacrifice we will pour into the community. The sacrifice God asks of us always build towards the blessings God wants to give us. The sacrifice that Abraham was willing to make changed him. The sacrifice Jesus did make changed us. There is no change without sacrifice. What would you like to change in your life, in your family, in your community? What would you sacrifice?